Um, I am delighted to introduce an author who has two author names. <laughs> she has a non-fiction name and a fiction name, and she's going to come and tell you all about that. Come on ahead, Michelle Withering. Yeah, Wittering, I know the Dutchman. Wittering. Um, yeah, hi everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here in your beautiful country. Um, public talking, fun. Um, <laughs> why am I here? Uh, write, well, I usually write under Mickey Martin, which is an easy name to say, psychological um, romance, which is a little bit dark and, and fun, really. Um, and then I was writing all that when my, my family was experiencing something quite challenging, which was dealing with um, a child living with anxiety. And when I was writing the last book of my trilogy, I said to my husband, I actually need to write our journey and share with the world how difficult it is living with a child with anxiety when you're not really quite certain what you're dealing with. Like if you're, if you're not really educated with anxiety and you've never been through it before and your child's doing something that's tearing your heart and your world apart, um, it's, you know, you do your research and then you reach out for help and you realise that you're dealing with something that's, you know, quite severe. So I began writing 13 and Underwater over five years ago when my son was 13 and we were sinking. <laughs> um, and reaching out to other parents and sort of listening to their stories and, you know, sharing our journey and it was kind of so... It was so shocking at, at how far spread anxiety is and depression and, and even back then, five, six years ago, it wasn't really that well spoken about. So I wanted to speak about it and I wanted to share our journey to help support other families with, you know, with, with anxiety, especially in the beginning when you're not sure what you're dealing with. So 13 was written under a year. I made sure I set up till midnight the year after I started <laughs> it to finish it on New Year's Eve only to realise that the story was still continuing and I had quite a lot more to write about. So it was written, then it was tweaked, and then my mother unfortunately passed away. God damn it, Mum. And um, the book had to be rewritten again because she was my son's biggest fan, so it, her passing actually triggered um, the journey of anxiety and my youngest son's journey with depression on another little level. So 13 was written and it was delivered to Karen and it was supported and and loved and embraced and it's reaching out to families now in Australia and I'm getting some beautiful feedback which is such a such a pleasure and I'm sort of working with um, Australia's Headspace which is equivalent to Ireland's Jigsaw I believe and I'm really excited to be here in Ireland connecting with Inspire so that really it gives me goosebumps and makes me a little bit teary because my mission in life with 13 is to just reach through the pages and hug other mums that are dealing with kids with anxiety. And, and for another child to even read 13 and say, you know, my mum's doing fairly well, or point to a page and say, mum, we need to sort this out. So that's that's why I'm here in Ireland. Well, because I've always wanted to come, of course. Mm -hmm. Bond with the people. I've met some beautiful local people and I'm looking at one of them there, two of them. And I'm just having so much fun here. And the authors I've met at this retreat, I just feel like I'm a millionaire right now. So... Um, probably got more to say, but I'm just so nervous. I can't wait to get off this party. But thank you all so, so much. And um, thank you. Thank you.